Hey guys, we're here at the East Vic Roller Derby and we're here to find out about what Roller Derby is all about because I've never been and I've got no idea. So let's get everyone informed and let's find out how you get involved and what getting involved actually means. So let's go this way. I'm Jamie Oliver and I've been with the league for about a year now. Um, it's a sport that's always appealed to me because it's just, it, it's for the misfits and um, yeah, I just love it. I am here with Jam E. Oliver. Jam, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually I go by Ollie. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, good, good. It's good. So what, what got you involved with um, roller derby? Um, I always loved the idea of sport, but not sports people. Right. And that's why I love roller derby because it's full of people that you wouldn't expect to play sport. And I mean, was there uh, once you got into it? I mean, mm. what was the main thing that really you know kept you into it? I suppose. Um, just the community of it. Uh, you know, if you fall down, everyone goes, "Oh yeah, you know, you okay?" You go, "Yep," and they go, "Get up, get right back up there." You know, it's, it's that kind of we love you, but we expect you to work hard. Yeah, that's fair enough. So there's a real team kind of element, I suppose. Yes, yeah. Okay, nice. So, and are you kind of learning to coach now? Is that right? Yeah, so I just finished up a coaching course. So I'll be hopefully getting a bit more out there. And yeah, I also recently passed my Purple Star, which is our highest level here. And hopefully I'll be debuting soon during during the next bout. Oh, okay, nice. Well, thanks for talking and we'll, we'll see you out there. Great, thank you. Hi, my name's Devastating Dottie. I've been with East Vic Roller Derby for two years and I've been playing roller derby for six years. I love roller derby because I get to hit people. Hey guys, Mike here and I'm with Dottie. Dottie, how are you? Really well, thanks. Thanks for coming down. No, no, thank you for having us. Um, so, what got you involved? What, what do you love about roller derby? Well, I love the camaraderie between all the girls. I love the challenge that comes with the physical side of things, but also the mental side of things. At the moment, I'm really loving coaching. I love developing skaters. It's really, um, I think, to have found my niche in the sport. Um, but the best fun is being able to hit people. I mean, what started you on this? I mean, what, what kind of made you want to think, I want to get into roller derby? Well... I went and saw a game with my husband and he said, you should do that. And I said, said no, you, you're mental. Um, <laughs> but, then, but then he bought me a pair of skates and he spent a lot of money and I thought I'd better learn how to skate. So I found a league and I learned how to skate. That's fair, Paul. When you spend the money on the skates, that's when it's kind of like, yeah, I should use them. Yeah, I kind felt of... obligated. Well, I've kind of got this feeling that I should get into skates and try this out. What do you think? Yeah, totally. I mean, I'm sure you'd be totally fine. Confident. Let's try this. <laughs> I'm here with uh, I Am Slam, and um, I Am Slam is a, um, a referee in our uh, EVRD league. And um, yeah, Phil, how did you get into roller derby? I got in thanks to my darling wife. She, it's it's one of those sports that to get away from everything, you can take up this sport and feel welcomed instantly. Um, so that's. That's something that she's done, and she dragged me along to a bout, uh, kicking and screaming, and I, was, I just didn't want to leave my game. And um, yeah, I, I NSO, which is non-skating official, and now you can't keep me away. So did you know how to skate before you joined a league? Absolutely no idea. Yeah. No, it was one of those wall clinger type moments <laughs> where I get on skates and have a sore bum for quite a good month or so. Yeah. And what did you find most challenging about about learning to skate and learning to, to referee? Learning to skate was the hardest part. So skating and knowing what you're doing and then having to learn rules on top of that and having to, to remember those rules in a split second mm -hmm. um, while, you know, dodging and weaving and, and um, keeping up because yeah, they, they can be quite quick. Yeah. So you have to know the skating, you have to, it has to be in your muscle memory, you can't just, yeah, 
That's right. You know, with you know your your eight eight to twelve was it eight to twelve weeks? Yeah. Um, you learn everything from falling down. Falling down is very important. Mm. Um, how to fall down? You'll do it many many times before you actually learn to do anything else. Yeah. Um, that way, when you do fall, you fall naturally. Yeah. And, and we do that with our skaters as well. Like we, uh, like you said, they, they, the refs train with the girls and we, we bring you up right from being clean to the wall right up to being able to skate properly and, and then eventually you get to the contact level and you can, you know, play contact and then you can become a bouting skater to, to, to play games with other leagues as well as, um, as, well as joining in playing with your other players. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. So it really, we bring you up from the, right from the, um, right from the start and you learn how to skate and you don't just get thrown in and contacting with girls who have been doing it for years straight away. Oh, I did. <laughs> I, I got hurt quite a bit. <laughs> but it was fun. It was always fun. Um, and, you know, it's not always for everyone. Sometimes you might even just come in, you might have a bit of a bum leg and whatnot and that's when you can become a non-skating official. Mm -hmm. So people who do all the, the hard yards with all the paperwork and um, making sure that when a ref calls something then it gets jotted down and backed up for, for the other refs and other NSOs. Yeah, and one of the things that I've loved is learning how to become a coach. And because I, I never played sport before, I'd never played team sport before ever. And it was it's really amazing to play a team sport and then actually pass on the knowledge that you've learned from people that have taken their time to teach you and give back to people who are learning. It's yeah, just right. great. And people just, you know, they, they learn something and they love it and they come and they really enjoy it. And it's That's, really rewarding. You know, skating, refing, NSO, do any of it, even just come watch. Yeah. Yeah, definitely support support local roller derby. Support your local roller derby teams. Um, there's there's ones all over Melbourne, all over Victoria. Um, yeah, definitely go and watch some derby. Definitely go. Watch.